Hi guys, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Sudhakar and uh, today we are going to discuss the very important topic in database. So that is to make the relationship in between the tables. So whenever you want to make the relationship in between the tables, I, I just need uh, the two keywords okay, in your constraints that is one of the primary key and foreign key. So now, with the help of these two keywords, how we can make or how we can establish the relationship in between tables. So before I want to establish the relationship in between two tables, then what kind of conditions I want to follow in my tables and how I can make the relationship. After making the relationship, okay, how I can go to, to take the reference data from one table to another table. Okay, so that mechanism we will go to discuss in this session. Clear? And now, so now first I will go to so working with working with with the primary key and foreign key primary key and foreign key constraints. Okay, so now we can see this foreign key constraint. And this is okay. So let us see now how we can make uh, how we can work with primary and foreign key constraints. Okay, on your tables. Okay, so basically these two constraints keywords we are going to using whenever you want to make the relationship. Especially the foreign key, whatever I am going to use here, foreign key. The foreign key we are using. The main reason is what now to make uh, okay to make the relation between. Uh, between two or more than two tables. So, whenever you want to go for to make the relation between two or more than two tables, then you can use your foreign key constraint along with the primary key. Okay? The two constraints I am going to take here to make the relation in between the tables. Okay? So, now, but here, when you want to make the relationship in between these two tables by using primary key and foreign key, okay, I need to follow some conditions. Okay? So, conditions I want to follow before you want to establish the relationship between the tables. Okay? So, what kind of conditions I want to follow? Okay? So, now we will discuss now. In this my first condition what it is here, okay, one table should contain, one table should should contain contains primary key and another table and other table okay so another table contain another table contain contains okay foreign key this is my first so before i want to establish the relationship in between two tables what i want to do now so one table should contains primary key and another table should contains foreign key. Okay? So, primary key, foreign key first of all you want to need to keep one primary key constraint in one table and foreign key constraint in another table. Okay? So, now this is two keywords I required now. And the second one, what is my second one here? When you want to make the relation in between two table, I need a common column. Okay? I need a common column. Okay, so in in both tables, okay, this is second requirement. But third requirement, what it is here? Whatever the common column I was taken here, this common column data type should be same. Okay, so I want to say the common column, the common column data type, data type must be must be same in both the tables okay so these are the three conditions you should be remember when you want to make the relationship in between tables one is one table should contain primary key and one table should contain foreign key second one the table should have a one common column okay and third one the common column data types must and should be same within both tables so based on these three conditions now i'm going to create my relationship in between tables now. Okay. So, let us see now how we can create the relationship in between primary key and foreign key. So, now I will go to open my SQL Server Management Studio 
and later as usual you want to go to connect your server and later you just take the new query editor and now select your required database my class and as of now in my class database I have a the tables was there so my tables here okay so EMP Chennai okay EMP Chennai and EMP Hyderabad and next uh, student these are the three tables are there at present in my database so now I am going to create here my another example tables I am going to take here to perform primary and foreign key relations okay so e here I will be follow the step by step I will be follow because these steps once you can see when you are going to practice at the time the steps you will be follow one by one then you can easily understand what it is happen okay so now first of all first I will create one table so creating table my table name for example I want to say uh, department is a one table I am creating now so in department table so I will take here DEPT number department number integer but here should be take what I said one table should take a primary key so primary key I am taking now later I will take your department name and I am taking your var care of some size and the same pattern I will take your location okay so location was taken here this is also var care of some 40 and this is what now one table I am going to create now so now I just created after created your table one point should be remember on which table the primary key was applied this table will be treated as a parent table okay and after that after design your parent table along with your primary key constraint then later I want to insert some records so insert I will go for department and I am sending values of okay now one by one value I am sending for example 10 my department name for example DBA and the location I will take here Hyderabad HYD like this one more record I am inserting multiple records 20 and later I will take SAP okay the location I will take here Mumbai and in the same pattern one more record I am going to take now that is called a 30 and uh, the department is HR and I will take uh, the location is Pune. So now these are the three records I am going to inserting into my parent table now. So I was inserted the parent table data successfully. After that, after that if you after inserted then you just call your parent table then my parent table successfully designed or not if you want to check then you just call your parent table like this after calling here then you can see whatever the parent table I was designed here the parent table data was also successfully inserted okay and later on what I am doing here the next I will go to create a my second table okay so second table is nothing but I simply say my child table because parent table already created now I want to go for child table okay so now child table creation purpose I will take nice step number three okay so what is my step number three here I am going to create create a table my table name is for example employee and employee ID it was integer okay and next one I will take employee name okay to take your work care of some size okay and later for example employee salary and money but here what I said here before you want to make the relationship okay one common column should be maintained but which column I want to take as a common column means okay in your parent table on which column are you applied the primary key constraint that column should be take a common column so that's DEPT number this column I am taking as a common column in my both tables because in my parent table on which column do you apply the primary key constraint that column should take as a common column okay then only the relation can be established so by this reason in my child table creation now I will take common column 
DEPT number. So, common column name I was taken. Later, the common column data type must and should be same. So, there which data type I was taken at the time of design integer same to same I want to take here integer. Later on I will be apply my foreign key. So, I am going to apply your foreign key references references from which table are you taking references here department table from department table of which column DEPT number column. My point is clear now. So, now here the one more table I was created and common column DEPT number common column on that common column I applied foreign key reference and the foreign key reference are you taking from parent table of department of department number. Okay. So, once you want to just you apply like this and go to execute now. Once I will execute it here, okay, once I will execute it here, then you can see the two tables I was designed in my database. So, now check out here. My first table department I just open and open your columns folder, then you can see it your primary key was applied. So, primary key was there, the key was there in yellow color marker, okay, this is my primary key representation. So, primary key was applied here and primary key not null, you know, primary key will not accept null values. And if you see the key, key was generated here, primary key, okay, so primary key was generated, this was this ID was the system, okay. This is what now department table primary key and later I will create one more table that employee if I want to expand here then column you can see the foreign key. So, foreign key was created now, okay, this is my foreign key symbol, okay, and now foreign key was applied here, okay. And later on if you want to see the key folder, then you can see foreign key ID also generated by your system, okay. So, that means primary key, foreign key, the both, uh, okay, the both constraints are applied in two tables. So, that means what I said in previously, on which table are you applied primary key that I was treated as a parent I said. In the same to same on which table you applied foreign key, this table will treat as a child table, okay. So, now the relation was established. So, but relation is established or not if you want to check then you can see how the relation is established. Now, you I am going to testing now. So, how to test here? First of all, I will take here my tables, select a star from. So, employee, employee and uh, the first parent table I am going to take now. This is my parent table. So, department is parent, employee is a child. Now, I will go to open. So, parent table, okay, the reference column is what now? DEPT number. In this column, which values was there 10, 20, 30, those values only accessing by your child table. That means, the 10, 20, 30 can only support, can only accept in your child table, okay. But 10, 20, 30 other than these three values, if you inserted any other value in my child table, that was not accepted. If it is not accepted, then you can assume like that my relation was established, okay. Simple logic I am telling you. So, why because you know every child was having all rights on parents, yes or no? So, that means the child was have a chance to take the references from parents, yes or no? Same to same year also. Department is a parent table and child table is a employee. So, that means this employee table can take reference data from parent table. But which data I want to take as a reference means on which column are you applied primary key that column values only reference values to take in child table. Okay. But other than this, if any other value user try to insert into child table, then the value will not uh, accepted. That means, for example, 10, 20, 30, these are called a uh, reference values. Why we call it is a reference values means these values are available in my parent table. So, that is why these are references. So, in parent table which values are there, those values only child table will accept it. 
but other than these values child will never accept another values okay so now that was uh, testing now i am going to test now so now later after design your relation with the primary and foreign key now i am going to testing my query insert my child table employee i am sending values of okay for example employee id 101 employee name was adams employee salary was 56000 and department number it is asking so when i give my department number 10 but the 10 is available in my parent table so that means the 10 number is a reference number okay so that's why this record is accepted into my child table successfully there is nothing the problem now we can see the child table was accepted this record or not now see so whatever the 10 was there in parent table the same 10 when user inserted in child table that was accepted because this 10 was available in my parent table reference column so that means the 10 is called a reference value that's why it was accepted in the same pattern next i will go for the another query i'm going to write now insert employee values of now this time 102 i will send here james and 45000 of salary next 20 20 can I accept now yes 20 is also accepted now now we can see i'm going to select this query and two executed again it was accepted so why it is accepted means you know the 20 value was there in my parent table now so that's why it was a uh, accepted now okay so 20 was there again 20 is also reference value okay so that's why your child is accepted there is one more value is there 30 in 30 also i just try here just another record i am inserting now insert employee sending values of 103 comma next i will send here scott and the 23000 rupees and 30 so this time my third record is also i'm going to insert but it is accepted or not you can check now two executed now once executed again this row also accepted once it is accepted here then you can come and check your child table and parent table then you can see in parent table reference column whatever the values are there the same values we was taken in child table reference column also so now can you see this if you want to carefully observe so now this is parent table 10 was there so that child is accepted second one 20 was there in my parent table so that child was also accepted in the same to same the 30 was there in the parent table so that child table is also accepted so that means now we can see the clear okay the relation will be established so parent table 10 20 30 same 10 20 30 was accepted in child but if you check like this another query i am going to inserting now next time i will insert the same insert employee values of 104 then the name i was given here miller and the salary was 62000 rupees then i inserted 40 but can you see here the 40 number is there in my parent table no okay the parent table it is not there so the 40 value is not there in parent table means the 40 is called a unreferenced value okay so unreferenced value is nothing but the value which is not available in parent table primary key column so if that unreference value are you tried to inserting into your table which table child table then what is happening you can see i am going to execute it it will giving compilation error so now we can see the compilation error what exactly it was given by server so the insert statement conflicted with foreign key constraint fk employee dept number and uh, some id the conflict occurred in the database my class department and dept number 
So, you will try and try and try your unreferenced values in child table try and try and try, but it is not accepted into child table. Why? Because this 40 value is not there in my parent table, simple logic. So, that means, so parent table and child table, now I will go to open and see it. Now, you can see, so 10 is accepted, 20 is accepted, 30 is accepted, but when users sending 40, that was not accepted in my child table because the 40 was not there in my parent table reference column DEPT number. So, by seeing this simple logic, then you can understand that the parent and child relation how it was established. Okay? So, now by seeing this example, you will be confirmed like this here, the relation was established in these two tables. That is the reason 40 is not accepted. If relation was not there, then 40 I can insert, not only 40, you can insert any number, any value in your child table. Okay. But when the relation was there, then child will accept only parent table values. Okay. So, that is why 10 is accepted, 20 is accepted, 30 is accepted, but 40 when inserted, it is not uh, accepted in child. This is what it is here, the simple way to make the relation in between the tables by using primary key and foreign key. Okay. So, now after relation was established, now you can come to check your condition whether we followed or not. So, what I said here, the working with primary foreign means, the foreign key establishment especially we are used for relationship purpose, the relation was established. And later what I said, conditions are given, one table should contain primary key and one table should be foreign. So, we applied primary key, foreign key we applied on your table. So, first condition we satisfied. Now, you can see here I applied primary key in one table, foreign key in second table. So, first condition was satisfied. Second condition what it is here, common column should be maintained. So, I will maintain common column now. So, what is our common column? Department number, okay, DEPT number and here also DEPT number, common column. And which one is a common column? The common column data types must be same. So, now same data type I was taken here, my common column integer type and here also my common column integer type. So, that means the three conditions are satisfied. Okay. And later finally, what I said, primary key table should be treated as a parent and the foreign key table should be treated as a child table. Okay. So, later after establishing your relationship and you want to check whether my relation was established or not, then you can go to test this small queries. So, I am going to testing now. So, what I given your first query, I inserted 10 number in my child table employee, this was accepted that I am saying here allowed. Second when I inserted, it is also allowed. Third when I inserted, it is also allowed. And when I inserted 40, then what we observed here, this is not allowed. So, that means your relation was successfully done in between two tables. Okay? So, this is simple identification how the relation was established and whether it is established or not, you want to check by taking this examples, this testing examples once you can go to check, uh, then automatically you can understand that uh, okay, whether my relation was established or not. Okay. So, this is the simple mechanism, okay, how to work with primary key and foreign key on tables. Okay. So, thank you guys, thank you so much. So, and you will be watch more videos from Narish IQ.